No! <laughs> Monica! It started raining! Are we going to be able to enjoy this car now? Goddamn rain and there's loads of people in the way. The rain has brought all the idiots out, I swear down. They're everywhere. They won't let me out. It's not fair. Oh, he's not letting me go. Oh, he's not letting me go. You're an idiot. Right, what's up guys? So today, you join me from the driver's seat of a 2005 Subaru Impreza Hawkeye Wagon. This is WRX, running about 260 brake horsepower. These are the 2.5 litre turbo, but it's the same turbo, the TD04 from the Classics and the other Scoobies. Now I must admit, this is my favourite shaped Scooby, apart from the newest ones. As obviously being a 2005 plated car, this one is actually before they brought in the 500 quid a year road tax as well. So I think if you're gonna buy any of them, this is the one to buy. You know, 55 plate that is still out. I think it's 290 a year. So you're saving quite a bit of money in tax. I love the way this car sort of builds its boost as well. It sort of comes on, but it's nothing, you know, it, it doesn't make a big song and dance about it. It's just doing it. Do you know, when you really come on the boost, it sort of does like a rush sound. Through the Haywood Scott center pipe and the ProDrive back box, it's still got both cats in on the down pipe, but these have three cats as standard, if I get, if I get that right. So you got a cat, a cat, and then a cat there. It's all to do with emissions, let's be honest. Right, so let's give it a boot fall and see what's what. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> That is awesome. Do you know, there's just no drama and that's what I love. It just does it. And the suspension BC coilovers, we're on a nice B road right now and it's so comfortable. The car's relatively low, it's dropped around 60 mil, but it's on a fast road setup. So on these sort of roads, it's absolutely perfect. The 260 brake horsepower though, that's exactly what you want. It's usable power again in a car that you can throw around because it's on the coilovers. It's able to, you know, take corners as it wishes. It's also got adjustable camber plates on top of the coilovers. So you're able to tow and, you know, camber in as much as you want. And it's been set up fantastic. When you drop this car into a turn, you can feel that the camber is exactly where you want it to be. And as you drop it into a corner, whoo, Oh, it just tracks round it, oh. And the back comes round because the power's there. And you just, oh. Whoa. It's just so good, it really is. It's just, the four wheel drive system just works so well, I tell you. You can pitch it in a corner, come round, and the power's there on the other side. It's so cool, it really is. It just, it sticks so well with the Goodyear tires on it as well. You can really, really feel that they're working but to your advantage. Oh, it's so good. Nice little back road, that's all this car needs. So guys, let's have a look around this Subaru Impreza wagon. Now I must say, and I've already said this before, the Hawkeye, apart from the newest one they've just brought out, is my favorite shape. I love this bit. It just looks so evilly and it's done a lot of justice to the classics in my opinion. It looks so much nicer and it flows so much better. Um, into the bumper, into the grill, um, bigger mouth on it. I just like this whole bit, it looks really, really good. Obviously as standard, you've got these little bits as well, which I, it's like sort of like a canard on the side of the car. A little splitter on it as well to just tie it all in. It's got a Japanese bendy number plate thing as well. So that looks pretty good. Body Zen on headlights as well. Um, obviously it's a newer car, it's gonna get those aero catches because actually on these, I've been told that when you're driving along, this bit and this bit move around. Anthracite wheels, um, nice contrast on the, on the silver. I really like that sort of color coordination. Goodyear Eagle F1s, they work so well on this car. This has also got EBC um, front disc and pads on it. So I think if you're gonna put anything else on it, then you definitely wanna put them on it. Nice little side skirt, standard. But for me, the whole wagon thing, I just love this bit. It just looks so good. Like, I love my big spoilers, don't get me wrong, but I like this 
this window coming down the little spoiler on it and from the back it just looks so full um, these are I think it's 30 kilos heavier than the actual you know standard sedan um, you know four doors but I literally prefer this than the other ones but that's just my personal opinion I just like a good wagon I also like this bit in the bumper where the lights are a little bit different to the other ones you've got dips where the lights go I like car club as well that's the car club that I go to um, little auto tests and stuff with so hit them up on Facebook and uh, have a look at their stuff um, Matt also owns an MX-5 that he uses on on track as well so best of both worlds really this is a daily and an MX-5 as a, as a little track toy so very good these are actually mud flaps that he's custom made to the car because he wanted them exactly that length and exactly that wide so good on him for doing that I love a good wagon I think they're awesome they just look so good also got a nice big boot in there so you can put all manner of crap in there which is pretty cool definitely like that this car is stupidly clean as well it really is really really well looked after let's jump inside pillarless doors as well that is that just does it for me especially the back one so you've got the front one there and then the back one just pillarless i love that idea i think it's so cool inside um obviously due to work and stuff he keeps his car as clean as possible so he's got a seat cover on the driver's seat i do like the interior in these it's nothing to write home about don't get me wrong but it's just simple and plain and i actually quite like it it's just usable um it's how you want it to be it's not bombarded with stupid lines and all this stuff so it's more about the car in my opinion um but yeah definitely an awesome car this definitely an awesome car no <laughs> it started raining are we going to be able to enjoy this car now goddamn rain and there's loads of people in the way sorry about this ranting but no one's letting me out what is wrong with everyone i'm going going for it and i must admit value for money a wrx wagon of this shape you know they're going for around five thousand pounds and if you were to get an sti of the same sort of you know spec all right they've got a lot more going on don't get me wrong the ratios are different in the diffs and all this sort of business gearbox is different but you're paying twice as much for the car let's be honest so you've got to weigh it up and this has got the big boot for you know your dog if you want to put it in there it's got the nice you know i, I like and i prefer the back of these to you know the sedan normal ones so this for me I think is the right one to buy this is the one i would buy if i'm honest the funny thing is this car is actually for sale right now he's put it on the market and honestly anyone that's interested in this car come and fucking drive it it is beautiful to drive it is exactly how you would want one of these to be it performs stops starts just handles unbelievably as well i'm i'm pretty thrown back again by another one i, I just Sometimes when I look at these cars and I think, yeah, that's, I bet that's nice to drive, and then you drive it and you realise how good it actually is and how exciting it is, and it's just, it's everything you would want in, you know, a Japanese turboed estate. And this is a first for a review. I'm actually going to have to put the wipers on in a minute because it started raining. So as it's completely pissing down now, which is not to our favor, and this is actually the first time this has ever happened on any shoot I've ever been on. I like the heater dials in these actually. And I like the, the, the feel of the knob. I know it sounds so stupid. And I think, you know, with it being a wagon, you're able to use it and, and blag that it's a good daily as well to the missus. I mean, obviously she's not gonna like the MPG, but what you get in return is, such a good laugh it corners fantastically and you know during the b road bash that you want to go on at the other end of it you could pick your kids up the dog in the back and go for a little sensible drive somewhere all in really good comfort as well i'm i'm really surprised at how comfy these bc coilovers are considering it is relatively low as well it's just been set up right in my opinion and trust me i've been there i've just slapped a set of coilovers on a car before and not really thought about you know the camber and the towing and stuff like that i've just thrown them on and hoped for the best so you drive something that's been put on coilovers and then been set up right you'll never experience that if if you buy coilovers and throw them on as i've done in the past and you've hoped for the best if you have never driven a car that's been set up right i think you need to 
And when you drive a car like this that's been towed and cambered in properly with the right set of coilovers on, you know, the right spring rates and all that sort of business, you can really tell that it's been done properly. Do you know, when you really, really get on it, it sounds like a fighter jet going along. It's going like that. Fucking sounds so good. I love it. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.